Let's check on the display and the sound quality of this IQZ7 Pro in this video. First of all, let's start with the display. It comes with a 6.78 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED panel with curved edges. You can see that it looks beautiful actually. The peak brightness can go up to you know, 1300 nits. We'll be going outdoor to check that as well. And the only problem that I can see here is that it doesn't have stereo setup. It comes with a single bottom firing speaker. So we'll be checking the output yeah, and we'll see that whether it is a deal breaker or not. So first of all, let's go outside to check on the outdoor visibility. I'm outdoor now and you can see that there is a bit of screen flickering, but it is quite low. That's a good thing. And even under direct sunlight, you can see that the visibility is quite good. The 1300 nits of brightness is quite enough to give you a better outdoor visibility. So I'm really impressed here. And you can see that if you check the view angles, let me show you this. Here you can see that the view angles, they are also looking good, no problem. Now let me show you some texts. Here again, you can see that it is performing really well. So the outdoor visibility of this device is actually quite impressive, really good. If you want to change the color calibration, then simply go to settings, then display and brightness. There we have this option, screen colors. Three options are there, you know, standard, pro and bright. If you want to increase the brightness, then you can select this one, then pro and then you can tweak the settings here as well. But I have liked this one, standard default calibration. It produces really balanced colors, yeah? And it doesn't have those annoying warmer tones as well. It has another thing, it has ambient sensor as well. So if you want to set ambient lights, on the lock screen then you can use these things like ambient light effects if you want to get that effect while playing music then you can set it on yeah let me show this if i play this and then you can see that Yeah, so you can do it if you want to see these kind of effects. Yeah, so it is there if you want to use it. Now let's play some videos to check the video being experience on this display. You can play videos at 4K HDR on it on YouTube. So let's play this. As it is AMOLED, you can see that the dark shades, the black color is looking really amazing. And I've liked the fact that it doesn't have any kind of, you know, frame drop while playing 4K videos, which I've found very common in, you know, mid-range or budget phones. But it is not the case here. You can see that there is no frame drop and the color reproduction is also quite, quite vivid and vibrant. And it doesn't have those annoying warmer tones. So that's a good thing. Yeah, although it is AMOLED, it is actually producing really balanced color I would say yeah you can see that there is no frame drop quite smooth seamless the color reproduction is actually quite impressive on this one you can see that it is quite balanced it is not that annoyingly boosted yeah not very oversaturated yeah it is quite good and the playback is actually seamless as I told you yeah and the detailing is also really good. You can see that details are there. Fine details are reproduced. Yeah, that's really good. Yes. I've really liked the color reproduction here. So what do you think about this? Let me know in the comments. Now let's also check the skin tones, the human complexion. Yep. So you can see that, you know, the skin tone is actually looking really really i would say close to natural yeah and there is no annoying reddish or yellowish tones homo tones are really well balanced yeah so i must say that the display of this device is actually quite well calibrated quite impressive so you will enjoy watching contents on this display yeah so it is actually performing really well now let's check on the sound output it comes with a single bottom firing speaker, a mono setup. It is not having a dual speakers stereo setup. 
so this is missing on this device because it would have made it actually a really complete package when it comes to media consumption but still let's check on the sound output and we'll see that whether it is really a deal breaker or not Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds chirping and I hear my name Grass green and so alive Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a shot This bottom firing mono speaker is quite loud in terms of loudness you won't be having any problem yeah the sound output is quite balanced i would say if you compare it with other mono speakers not stereo speakers and there is no distortion even if you increase the volume to the maximum and the bass is on the lower side the treble is also not that precise i would say but overall the sound output is quite satisfactory but if you compare it with stereo speakers like we get in Poco X5 Pro or you know Motorola G73 in that case I must say that it is missing the dynamic sound output and if you like to listen to music and if you watch contents on your phone and you use the loudspeaker then this is going to disappoint you yeah if you are someone who really loves to listen to dynamic sound output different sound effects then it is not meant for you according to me but still it is not a deal breaker if you don't quite often use the loudspeaker yep this is my opinion so guys i must say that the display is quite well calibrated it is quite vivid and vibrant even the higher refresh rate 120 hertz of refresh rate is also well optimized i haven't come across any kind of stutter in the ui yet but still there are many apps that don't support high refresh rate so it is better that you set it to adaptive mode so that will give you seamless ui experience yes it is really good the display is really good and these uh, you know curved edges they do give a you know premium look to this device but yes the sound output is not that impressive yeah this is where they should have done a better job yeah they should have provided you know stereo speakers instead of this single bottom firing mono speaker but still if you are not someone who uses the loudspeaker yeah quite often then this is not a deal breaker because overall the performance of this device it appears to be really impressive i'll be checking it in detail in my you know next videos then you will come to know it yep so what do you think about it let me in the comments and if you end up liking my videos do subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like as well cheers guys